Hello my fellow BL enthusiasts. Today, I am not talking about a BL but a Lacorn. Lacorns are basically Thai soap opera with all the melodrama and overused tropes. The Lacorn I am talking about today is called May Kruakon May I better known as New Cook which is gaining popularity in Channel 3. This Lacorn is a remake of a 2007 Lacorn of the same name, which in itself is a remake of a Lacorn which was aired on 1987. The Lacorn must be really good as it's the third time it is being remade right? Let's look at the story, Lom Dao is a daughter of a rich family and her grandma fixes her marriage with Dr. Pulam. She is against marrying Dr. Pulam as she has never seen him. Upon coming to Bangkok, she hears rumors that they are a lot in debt and she suspects Dr. Pulam is just marrying her to pay off his debts, and also Dr. Pulam is seen with a struggling actress always, which she suspects is his girlfriend. So to find out the truth and expose Dr. Pulam, she disguises herself as an unsuspecting ugly new cook and goes to live in his house. Sounds interesting? However, the best method of disguise to look ugly is a black face. Yes in 2021, Tyler Corns are still using a black face to imply someone is ugly, and on top of that, they put a large black mole in her and gave her the name Faye Idam, which in literal translation is black mole. So an offensive idea of 1987 is used as it is in 2021 with almost same screenplay, and scene by scene similarity. And no, this is not only the thing that is offensive. A girl with bigger front teeth is nicknamed Buck Teeth to make it comedic. The scene where Black Mole meets Buck Teeth is so bad that it's good. They even outdid that from the original too. Kudos to them. The other thing I can't get with Tyler Corns or let's say Thai series in general is the fart, poop and pee jokes. Talking about fart, poop and piss is not funny. Please. Similarly, at one scene, Dao's gay friend is getting rid of Dao's brother by molesting him. Come on, Channel 3, Chan 7 and Channel 9 have made gays as a comedic objects. This really needs to change. Having said all these, I still found it funny. In fact I spent my weekend watching till episode 9. I liked Namfa's comic timing good than previous generation actresses who played the same role. She looked really beautiful, even as Faye Adam too. This is her first leading role and I loved her. Similarly, August Vakiravitas Pulam or Blum suits the role. He has been gaining a lot of popularity and has been playing main roles in movies and lacorns. But the most amazing part is the chemistry, both Namtha and August look really good together, and the time they share screen has some hilarious scenes. A lot of people have second thoughts about Thai comedies, especially, those slapstick comedies with the cringe background sound effects. Some of the scenes came out as cringe and still some of the comedic scenes are really funny. I am gonna watch it this week too. One of the comments said, it's silly outdated concept but it's funny and doing its job of being an escapism, I agree with that.